um, a game that I've been waiting for for a while. Crash Bandicoot on the run. So let's go. I'm gonna do a few runs of this, and I might even do a boss fight. And he actually plays pretty good for it on phone. I've been waiting for like the past like month or two for this game. Oh, oh, I took damage. This game actually plays really good. It's not like one of those endless runners. Well, it could be in certain places, but right now it's not when you're trying to beat the actual game. Ah, you have to time that. I didn't know about that. And the Wumpa fruit actually are useful in this game. And like the mask always are, they are really useful. Checkpoint. It's not an endless runner, don't worry. You'll eventually meet up with a mini boss. Or, in some cases, an actual boss. And sometimes you might actually have to dodge a few things. It looks boring, but it's actually not. Here's the boss, like mini boss. And you have to put them in their right dimensions. Uh, okay. I don't understand this. Are you supposed to just have quick reflexes or something? Because that was easy. And then you gotta time that. There we go, see? And we run back to their own dimension. Mini boss defeated. We can use these power gems to get new lands. Alright. So I've collected um six out of eight of these per these um power gems. So let's continue on. Save my progress. One second. Alright, I've saved my progress, and now my account is actually fidgety attic. So let's go find another enemy. Um, what's this one? Oh, I have to creep one of those. Oh, well, I guess I'll just take out these other enemies. Because you have to create potions from um, collecting resources from other worlds. Kind of like Sonic Rush Adventure. Which is actually pretty cool. You gotta hit enemies to make it so you can like get rid of them, I guess. There's no, there's nothing you earn from killing them. It's just satisfying. You can also slide into them. And sometimes they'll be... Like, if you don't hit them, you, you won't be able to get to an upper place to get more material or something like that. It plays a little bit like Crash Bandicoot, except you're not actually able to control the character. And Crash is used to this kind of gameplay, because going down a narrow hallway... That's basically what Crash is known for. A little way to dodge that, I guess. Save you the trouble of having to kill an enemy. Um, I tried sliding there, it kind of lagged. Sometimes this game lags a little bit, that's it. There's not much story involved, except that there, like... Um, certain enemies are from different universes, like multiverses, and we have to teleport them back to their realities by using a potion. I don't know how that works, but you can't ask the laws of science around video games, can you? And this is free to download. 
and I tried pre-registering um, for a um, character, but it didn't work. I ended up not getting the character. Alright, so all we gotta do here is just dodge his attacks. Um, why are there boxes? Oh, I see. So they can block our way to make us think that's to make us confuse where the agile ice is coming from. It's kind of hard to actually time that in the middle. You're in our power gym. Okay, it's showing a starter pack, but I'm not going to buy any of the packs in this game. Because I don't spend money in video games. Um. So yeah, continuing on the force. We have to actually collect stuff in these areas. Turtle Woods, run. These are the endless runners I was talking about. And you can also play as Coco if you want to. But I'm just going to play as Crash. Because he's the main character. And this is where you collect materials so you can actually make the potions. It's all it's a lot like Sonic Rush, where you had to explore like certain areas and actually start grinding. Yeah, it's kinda like that. Except you don't I don't think you have any lives until you can't actually wait, Sonic Rush never had that, so it's kinda like it's kinda really like Rush. So, boom. And if you guys really do want it, I could do a Sonic Rush Adventure Let's Play. Let's go get more material. Yeah, the purple mushroom. Uh, not the purple mushroom. Green mushroom. We need this. Without it, we can't make the actual potion. We need a lot more of these. Because if I were you, I'd grab as many materials as you can, because it may help you in the long run. There we go. And Wumpa Fruit can be used to make better potions and all that. To make the potions, you need to actually have Wumpa Fruit. So Wumpa Fruit is actually useful in this game. Unlike the actual, um in the games um, besides lives in those games but yeah I guess I'll just pause the recording until I actually um collect enough cereals okay we've arrived at our end summary that's all the stuff we got so let's see what kind of potions we can make. Yep, we can make one of these. It needs eight. Jeez. Those are expensive to make. And you can use your gems that you find to use to make it. I need more of these. But right now we don't have to worry about that. And we still have one of those potions, so we can take... No, no we need two of those. Um... Yeah, I'll pause it until we get to the ball. Okay, I believe that we now... I believe we now have access to the boss. Oh, I need one of those. One second, everyone. Okay, I got it now. So let me just let you guys listen to the music in this game.
And that's the boss. I hope you all have enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. And as always, have fun and play.